What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome to Futmus. That is right, Futmus should be and is here. And we're starting with player SBC straight off the bat. Alejandro Gomez, 86 rated. Lucas Torreira. Uh, what number is... What are these? Do we have special numbers for these? And Wilfred Zaha, that's interesting. So we've got straight off the bat, guys, some Futmus players. Uh, very nice indeed. What else have we got from EA here? Champions Cup, not interested in. The Marco Royce, I'm not interested in. Is it just the player SBCs to start with? Hey, not just the player SBCs, but is it just the player SBCs to start with? I think it might be. Is there any more icons in there? Oh, wow, there is. We have got Sol Campbell and Michael Balak. Now, if EA require an icon for this, I'm so, they do. I'm so done. I'm so done. Sol Campbell better not require an icon. He doesn't. All right, so they finally released an icon that doesn't require an icon, which is going to absolutely crash the icon market. 87 rated squad, 86 rated squad, an 85 and an 84, an 83, and then some of the other stuff we've got. Balak does require it. Uh, you can get a lone Michael Balak as well, which is going to cost you an 84 rated squad. So about 35 to 40,000 coins, not too bad. Um, is there anything in store? We're going to go and have a look at the weekly objectives as well. It doesn't look like there's a team available. So there are, I mean, there are there are packs here, but what for? What are the packs for if, if no special players in packs? And let's have a look at the uh, objectives. So daily objectives are obviously old, so it doesn't matter. Weekly objectives. The MLS MVP is there. Win six online single matches using 11 MLS players to get the uh, Joseph Martinez SBC uh, or MVP player, 86 rated. Sadly, we can't see his stats. Swap deals player one and two. Futmus kit, play three online matches. The Turin derby, Futmus goals for a hunter and Futmus players for a shadow. So nothing by way of other players, but Martinez is a sick player. So lots to do, guys. But what we're going to start with is taking a look at these Futmus SBC players and whether or not they're going to be, you know, value or not. So it's an 82, an 84, and an 86. Let's start with Lucas Torreira. I can't imagine this should be too expensive. Um, we are going to go for one Arsenal, one Uruguay, an 83-rated squad with 85 chemistry. That's actually not bad at all. So for Torreira, medium-high work rates, three-star, four-star, really well-rounded stats for... Mm, some great stats. His passing's good. His stand tackle marking and interceptions are good. Stamina is great. Aggression is great. His shooting from outside the box is great. His pace is all right. This is a good card for an 83 rated. This is actually quite a good card. And we're going to do it straight away. We're going to do all three of these straight away. So one Arsenal player, one Uruguay player. Of course, as you guys well know, you don't have to have an Arsenal Uruguayan. Although if I do have Torreira here, that would make things a little bit easier. And we are looking for an 83 rated squad. So we're going to go for a Premier League team. Um... And just go for whatever uh, whatever Premier League players I've got here to pop in. So an 83 rated squad is what we're looking for. Any mm, maybe maybe an 83 maybe an 84 would be nice for me to put in. Not Davidson Sanchez, of course. I don't really have players. I need maybe I should go and open those 50k packs first to fill up my club just a little bit. Um, I'll tell you what we're gonna do, dudes. Let's 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 go and open those 50ks. Uh, j just to see if I can get myself a few of the like 83 rated, 84 rated players from um, from the Premier League. I don't quite understand what the packs are there for and why they're only in store for four hours. But at the end of the day, it's promo packs. It's going to help us out a little bit here. Hopefully, as I say, we'll get some um, some good Premier League players. We get a Uruguay in there, so that's not too bad. And uh, well, then we I'll, I'll go and complete. I probably want to complete all of these, you know, uh, as long as they're reasonably priced, which they seem to be so far, with the Torreira being an 83 rated squad for an 82. So are we expecting an 83, an 85, and an 87 rated squad? Um, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But we'll, we'll have a look, we'll get through these 50Ks. There was only, what was there, five of these here? I think there was five here, yeah, three more. If I don't get anything out of these 50Ks, we'll just go and I'll figure out a way. I don't need to do Torreira with the Premier League team. I've got so many other like leagues. We can go to the La Liga or something like that and we'll get him from there. Uh, maybe, actually, maybe I should do um, Gomez first because he's the highest rated. So I might end up using players that I don't want to use. So here we go with the next 50K. If we could just get one walkout EA. Nope, not on this occasion. 
um, I'm looking at some of the tweets uh, going from people. There, P people are very excited. Oh, Hyung Min Son, very nice. People are very excited for Fatmus. I'm excited for Fatmus. I'm hoping. I want to take a look at the number of hours left on these SBCs. I'm hoping that EA do what they did last year and release the player SBCs at midnight every night instead of at 6 p.m. We have got a walkout here. Oh, look at that green flare. The Fatmus flare is there. That's quite nice. It's an informed walkout. It's Spanish. It's a right mid. It's Juan Mata. That's not bad at all. I'll take a, a nice uh, 85 rated Juan Mata from the pack there. Anything else chilling in this pack, EA? Lots of non duplicates. Oh, wow. What a 50k pack. Juan Mata and Donnarumma in form. Lacassette, Zule, and Nabi Keita. That is a sensational pack. Now I'm glad I opened those 50ks. I really, really am. Let us get back into doing these SBCs, guys. Uh, I want to take a look at the other requirements before I jump into Torreira, though. So we've got Gomez, 86 rated. Let me, let's, let's have a look at his uh, card before we go any further. So, <laughs> good dribbling. A little low on stamina. Good passing. He's really short, isn't he? I don't like players this short. This isn't a bad card. It's not a great card. But it's not a bad card. Let us have a look at what the requirements are going to be. We'll go to start from scratch. So we're looking for... Okay, so Team of the Week or UEFA Champions League Road to the Final players is two. An 84 rated squad with 85 chemistry. Two Argentinians and three Serie A. Alright, so let's go to our Serie A. Damn, really? Like... I mean, we've got Donnarumma and Bakayoko that we can use straight off the bat. I also don't mind using him. We need What did we need? An 84-rated squad. Yeah, an 84. Uh, I've got some 83s that we can throw in here as well. Let's let's start Let's start as we mean to go. And with Pjanic in there as well, it should be quite easy to, to achieve for this one with an 86. So we've got Bakayoko and Donnarumma, two relatively cheap um, players, essentially. We could pop uh, Mandzukic in there. De Rossi can go in there. We only need 85 chemistry as well. Castillejo can go in there. And Lucas Lieva can go in there. So we still need two Argentinian players. Let me go and get a striker and a defender. Have we got any Argentinians from here? There's one Italian, so not really what we want. There's one Argentinian. There's two Argentinians. Okay, let's see how close we get with just these. That takes us to an 80 rated. Uh, we pop him in. That's our chemistry and takes us to an 82 that takes us to an 83 with 90 chemistry. So we need a little upgrade here somewhere down the line. Let's have a look at what untradables we've got. If I've got any Team of the Week untradables or anything like that, I'd be happy to use them. Not Dries Mertens. Um, might be happy to use like uh, Ed Dzeko. Obviously, these ones don't really count. Ooh, we've got Raul Albio in there. Uh, Balde and Pepe Reina that we could potentially use for upgrades. So Raul Albio in for him that doesn't quite give us enough lucas Leva that still doesn't give us, us enough and loses an argentinian player uh is he 80 so 83 over an 82 we know isn't enough but what we can do now is just go to any gold player and just put in an 84 or an 85 goalkeeper like an allison or something that's going to just get us where we need to go on this team regardless so jesus skipping through here this is the highest rated card as well. And this is actually okay. It's not like super cheap or anything. Um, so Pepe is enough. So an 85 is enough, which is good news. Is an 84 going to be enough? Yes, it is. There you go. Fantastic. So an 84 works. We're one chem point away. So that's our first one done, guys, for Alejandro Gomez. Uh, we've gone for a full Calcio A team, the big 86, Donnarumma that we just packed, and Bakayoko in the middle there. We submit that squad and we get Gomez. Do I think this is worth it? Um... I don't think it's bad, that's for sure. I'm just going to head on to uh, Futbin real quick and have a look at... The, well, Futbin's crashing, sadly. Uh, have a look at the price. The Joseph Martinez, by the way, guys. Four-star, four-star. Very nice stats. I'm just looking at that. We'll show you guys that in a second. But we get ourselves our first walkout. Is that Messi? Oh, it's Gomez. I thought it was Messi for a second. I saw Argentinian centre forward and I wondered if it was Messi. So there out comes uh, Gomez, dudes. Um... Thoughts from you guys on the Icon SBCs. Do we think that Sol Campbell is going to crash the Icon market? We, we're going to have to try and figure out. If, if Sol Campbell's price is relatively cheap, um, we, it will crash the Icon market. Icons will go down to a more reasonable price. Sol Campbell hasn't quite got the price up yet. So we'll have to wait for that one. Nor has Balak. Nor, I, I guess the site is just like completely crashed. But So for Zaha... Let's have a look at Zaha's in-games because he is someone that I know a lot of people really enjoyed. Do you know what? 
This is a good card. Three star weak foot sucks. 5'11. Five star skill moves is good. His positioning, finishing, and shot power are good. His pace is great. His crossing is good. His passing is terrible. His physicals aren't the best. But giving this guy, like, a sniper would be amazing. Would boost his reactions nicely, his composure nicely, his agility, balance, dribbling, ball control will go up, his shooting will go up in the great, great areas. This is a good card. I think we're going to see this card a lot, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, for him, we need six Premier League players. Maximum of six is that. Oh, no, minimum of six. So we're, thank God I didn't do Torreira yet because we are going to need some Premier League players. So I don't mind using a few 86s from the Prem for this. So we can use him. We can use him. We could throw in Alisson as well. Uh, Willian can go in. He's not one of the most expensive 84s. Orginio, Lacazette. And then we could just pop in some 83s outside of that. Um, but we're also going to need one team of the week or fuck champions player. So, oh, wait, is that the red? Oh, that is the red, isn't it? I thought that was the... Wait, what was the Gomez requirement? The Gomez requirement was a UCL live player. So EA are allowing us to trade in our red cards instead of team of the week cards for Zaha. That is fantastic. That genuinely is very good. I didn't expect that from EA. We should be able to get away with what we've got here. Uh, Morata can go in. Naby Keita can go in. I don't know what I need for... What is it? Chemistry. So we need 90 chemistry. So a full Premier League squad is kind of what we're going to go for. Um, I don't mind using some of these players but i'm gonna need to put in probably another 86 if i don't use some like i, I don't have like the cheaper i don't know how much david Luiz goes for i know he's not like oh i have koscielny that's not bad we could throw in koscielny let's actually pop in koscielny and we'll pop in um david Luiz. i'm definitely gonna have to open packs to make sure that i can get my uh my players back for every day's sbc we could throw in marcus alonso so that takes us to an 82 rated and we're just missing one team of the week player. So if we go for a special Premier League card, what do I have? I have Tarkovsky. Don't mind using him. Do I have an untradeable Premier League in form? I don't think I do, funnily enough. I think we've already used all of them. Yeah, I don't. So Tarkovsky hopefully will be enough for rating. So he's not. So we're a little short on rating. Is it just one? No, it's going to be two. It's going to be three. Jesus. Uh, Alonso for Pereira. Wow, we're actually four away. That's really surprising. Do I have another 82? I do. So if we put Jordan Pickford on, that is still not enough. We're actually going to have to use the 85 Alisson. There we go. That's enough. Now, we are a little short on chemistry here, which isn't good news. If we swap those guys around, that takes us to 84. I think I'm just going to have to use Willian, aren't I? If we pop Willian in there, and then we can pop... Uh, Alonso in for David Luiz, and then swap those two around. There you go. That's going to be my team. So a, li a little, a little excessive. This one, it's not cheap. This one for this Wilfred Zaha, but it's not super expensive. The fact that you can use a Fut Champions player is great for that because if you've got a really high-rated, terrible Fut Champs player, you're going to be able to use them. You know, let's say you've got like a big 87 rated player that you just don't use. Let's say you have UCL Leroy Sané and then Red Leroy Sané. You could just use your Red Leroy Sané. Drop him in, get rid of him, uh, and and really reduce the cost of this Zaha. So I, I think in general, as uh, why have they both walked out? Oh, they're cold, aren't they? They're 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 pretending to be cold. I get it. Um, you know, I I, th I think I, I think that's pretty cool. Wilfred Zaha is pretty good, and then Torreira is very very affordable. Um, you know, an eighty three rated squads with same from the max league, same six. So we're actually going to go to the Syria. Uh, sorry, the La Liga. I think that's going to be the best one for us because we've got lots of players from La Liga that we can use in here for an 83-rated squad. A couple of the low-end 84s. In fact, considering we're only allowed six from each club. <clears throat> if we do that, let's pop him in there. Let's go and get Aaron Ramsey. We, we, I've got so many 84s here. In fact, I've picked up all 84s. That is absolutely unnecessary. I can, I can get away with 83s and 82s for the rest of this. I wouldn't even need to use uh, many 83s either. Let's pick up some of the 83s, though, uh, and even, indeed, some of the 82s. Lenglet and Bartra there. Um, we'll, we'll pop Bartra in because it's Spanish. So that's five, and then we'll pop in Lenglet as well. And then we'll go for the Premier League for just some more 82s. I don't think we're going to need anything more than 82s from this point on with three 84s. But if we do, 
I'll trade in another 84. I could always use... Oh, I kind of want like attacking-minded players here. Uh, Fred Perfect, Seri, Vinaldum, Sigurdsson, Zaha. Fantastic. This should be enough to, to get us done. We only need 85 chemistry on this one as well. Um, so putting in the center mids... That's 82 rated. So that is 83 rated. I, I wonder if we can actually drop lower. If we can, it will be by one. There we go. Look at that, guys. That's perfect. So very, very simple, this one. 82s, which are absolutely worthless in this game, like a 1,000 coins each. 384s. 384s, 183, and then the rest 82s. Really, really simple. Really, really easy. And that is uh, Terrera added in. So once again, guys, I ask you, now that we've got all three of these players, in-game stats of these players are nice. This is obviously day one for these special players. How long were left on these? I didn't even look. So Torreira is supposedly around 34,000 coins. Uh, are they there for... So they're there for 24 hours, which means it's going to be 6 p.m. every day that we get the player SBCs, which means six, by about 6.30, 6.45 every day, I'll have the video up on them. We get to send Torreira into the club. Uh, Torreira is supposedly about 24k. Uh, Zaha about 70k, Gomez about 70k. I don't know if that's necessarily what I would say is actually the true value of those cards. But in terms of icons, they're there for 30 days. Sol Campbell still doesn't have a price on Futbin yet. An 87 rated squad, an 86 rated squad, an 85, an 84, an 83. The bronze, the silver and the world class. Um, with that in mind... We're looking at two informs, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's twelve informs needed for Sol Campbell. That's actually not going to be easy. An eighty-seven rated squad with two informs. What does it offer for rewards? Um, what does it offer for the rewards? So it offers one hundred K pack, fifty-five K pack, fifty K pack, forty-five K pack, rare election players pack, jumbo premium gold players pack. It's going to be tricky. I don't know if it's necessarily going to completely crash the market. Um, but I hope it has some, like, goes some way. So that's a 100k pack. And then another 84 and an 88 rated squad for an ultimate pack for the reward. That's interesting. Now, what do you need for this? One team of the week pack and an 88 rated squad. Like, that might, I, I have Michael Balak in my club. I have his 891. So if I could sell him and complete the untradeable Michael Balak for cheaper... And get all those packs back. I'd be delighted with that. Let's see what I bought Balak for. I could have sold him for about 100,000 coins more as well. Uh, let's have a look. Oh crap. I didn't mean to place him on transfer list. But that's okay. Let's go to the transfer list. This is going to be the last thing we do today. For this video anyway guys. I might be back later completing the Soul Campbell SBC. And seeing what we can get from it. Uh, I might not be. Um, is he right at the front? So Balak I paid for. 2 million coins. Do I think that SBC is going to be under 2 million coins? I don't know. But he's already dropped way down he's now 1.8 so this michael ballack sbc has already crashed the michael ballack market to the point where he's 1.8 i'm not going to panic sell mine i know he'll probably go back up in price anyway after people have stopped panic selling theirs but what do you guys think about fatma so far uh thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave a like rating comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace